The shot clock at seven. Double team in the post. Giannis ducks under. Wanted Robin Lopez. The Bucks lose their first possession. Not a very well executed first offering by the Bucks offensively, and then TLC offering by the Bucks offensively, and then TLC aggressive back at the other end. Tibete, Luau, Camaro. Giannis lays it in. He had the game since mid March, the March 11th or 12th or so. At least one five on five experience in the bubble in practice, and then a three on three. Might have gone five on five yesterday. Giannis constantly improving at three point percentage. This three by Garrett Temple. Middleton for three. Giannis almost handed it. Luau Camaro, 8 4 Milwaukee. Giannis, little pass fake for three. Giannis almost handed it to him. Well, everybody's strategy, based on the success the Raptors had in Eastern Conference Finals, just load up on Giannis. He saw a wall of three black shirts, Chris Middleton wide open. Without the majority of their scores, just 23 points returned from when the Bucks played them back in January. That's one of the guys there. Sandra Johnson out of Fresno State got a little bit of a different look, little curly afro look. He hit the head coach in the NBA. This is his fourth season officially as a head coach. He had Orlando for a while. It was uh, part of the staff down in San Antonio with Greg Popovich after having played here for about four seasons. 7.4%. That would be the second best three-point percentage in Milwaukee Bucks history behind Del Curry. Had to be a Curry involved. <laughs> Lance Thomas, these are, are some sneaky defensive numbers for Brooklyn. Yeah, they're top ten defensively. It'll be the first time they finished in defensive rating top ten in years. I think 2005, 2000. <laughs> You see the rest of it down and down a couple times and take some guys to the room. And he said he's a, a guy that can post up. He's seven foot. He can get a bucket. He's a great uh, passer out of him. He sees something. But, you know, he's such a great player. He's such a great teammate that, you know, he wins ball games for us, especially on the defensive side, which a lot of people give him credit. The miss by Garrett Temple. Uh, you might notice if you have a keen eye that for the first time, Players have their names below the numbers on their jerseys. That starts today to grow his hair out <laughs> yeah, like that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> it may have come into the season with the twin swapping thing going on and, you know, pull one over on all of us. Guess what we did back in 2020. <laughs> Dante DiVincenzo hit a three while Zora was with us. The Bucks have made five triples, yeah, eight the, attempts already. Other thing about the three-point shooting, Robin shooting 30, close to 35 percent this year, but free throw percentage is way down. He's a 75 percent mm -hmm. free throw. Below the numbers on their jerseys, that starts today. They can have the social dust, justice slogans on their jerseys, but every player now has his surname under the number. Why wouldn't you do that from the start? I mean, the scrimmage talked about kind of what defenses they need to work against, but this is good good practice for the Bucks, who will see some zone in the playoffs this year. Giannis with a two hand at the top of the key does a nice job finding a wide open Kuroot underneath. DiVincenzo gets through the defense. Three thirty-five to play in the first quarter. Jamal Crawford is forty years old. Kuroot misses. He's the oldest player in the league since Vince Carter has retired. You got Udonis Hamilton also 40. To get back in action, imagine being isolated and away from your teammates, and now you're released, right, Marcus? Can you talk about a time maybe you were injured away from the game, and then your first game back, you just want to get it all out? Yeah, I can remember being a flipper and hurting a hamstring, and Junior Bridgman took my starting spot. <laughs> that was the most frustrating part. Good old buddy You're JB. not supposed to lose your job <laughs> that, to that's injury. What, that's what I told Jimmy Lyon, the head coach. He's <laughs> like, dude, you're shooting too well. He shoots better than you do. <laughs> I could argue. I could, I could argue. Five eleven. Chris Chioso gives it up to Jamal nice. Crawford. Crawford creating rookie from Alabama. His Twitter handle nickname Jay Crossover just because of his outstanding ball handling skills. Six six. 
Jamal Crawford, of course, sixth man of the year. Multiple times. Jake Hart's boys his senior year before he went off to Michigan for one year. But he puts on a great summer league at uh, Seattle Pacific College every year. Top players from all over the country flock to the Northwest to play in his league just because of the type of character of Jamal Crawford. George Carl, big, big uh, player in, in developing the Friends of Hoop program. A lot of these guys play for uh, uh -oh. The defender was more than six feet away. Mid-range miss, Dante Hall. In a campaign around uh, social media, Twitter, to get Jamal Crawford on somebody's roster all season long. And man, the way he's looked here, Jim. We'll see which team finishes in the eighth spot Magic to face of, the Bucks. Yeah, Magic have played well this season. Vucevic putting up some, some really, you know, the son was born, what, earlier this year, January, February, just to be away from your baby, from your from your lady Mariah. Both are doing well, but... Ooh, wow. My goodness. 542. Brooklyn leading the Bucks. Too long on that three. Giannis has the rebound. Sees a wall of three. So does George Hill. So they go to the corner. Giannis draws the defense. Finds Bledsoe. Yes, three from the corner. Nice job, Giannis. Set that up. You know, don't live up to expectations initially. Go through some disappointment and then have the, the toughness to bounce back and work your way back in the lead. Year anyway, 31 32 minutes a game, but you got Brooklyn tonight, but then you've got the Miami, Dallas, Toronto coming up three games in four days against those teams. Coming up three games in four days against those teams. Clean pick and a lay in Jeremiah Martin. Giannis out of the two ball. Even Chenzo started in the right corner, then popped out for the pass. Back to the middle, Frank Mason seeing time today. He scored it from Ursan. Ursan back. Even Chenzo knocking the ball around. Connaughton has it. And I thought we'd see a lot. Nice job. Beautiful. Yeah, great job running. Dante, you got to play Bledsoe some just to kind of get him back. Huawu Camaro can't hit the mid range shot. The guys that need to. Uh, on court minutes to help their rhythm. Nice job. Beautiful. High into that high shooting pocket, just catch and deliver. Oh. Love it. Just a one-handed quick swing to the top. Get it there before the defense can switch. There's Cheese Chiosa a little early on that one. Even Shenzo keeps it nice. good. What a great pass. Oh my god. Goal 10, Frank Mason. Not excessively overt, in my opinion. Can't be happy with this defensive effort. You've given up 70 points, maybe more to the net. For me, will we see Giannis Chris at all in the second half? I, I would suspect not to not start in the third quarter. Tyler Johnson by the Wawu Camaro back to the top. Demon Shinzo saw Connaughton there. Another clean pick. The second by Jeremiah Martin. Yeah, and I tell you, he's flipping off the Chancellor on local TV. I mean, <laughs> so that was directed specifically at a couple of guys on that team who were really active in, in social justice issues of the time. George Hill after that earlier beautiful spin move by ball is the furthest thing from the most important thing in the world, but it's got to be in front of your mind right now for this game. Yeah. And I imagine, you know, getting John Wooden to give a message. He's been watching. Much more. Well, it's, uh, it's a great message. I'm laughing because of floor Steve right now. I mean, did they crank up the urgency between Bledsoe and, and Hill and Lopez? I mean, they should be able to make some serious hay against this. Net roster on the floor at this point. I mean, that, that transition defense left a lot to be desired. No rim protection, laying, uh, no resistance against Tyler Johnson after the handoff from Temple. Right on the line for the Bucks and Coach Budenholzer. Has to be.
sure there's an, an awareness by this Buck team that they've got Miami, Dallas, Toronto coming up uh, in the next four days. Let's all create. There is the other side of the coin, isn't there? Temple again. Yeah, they, they setting up in a 2 3 zone. And, you know, and that's, and that's, that's all they have yeah. 23 points. That's it. That's all that's available for this game tonight. But other guys have stepped up and more than made up for it in terms of uh, TLC. And, some of these other players get now they're quick. I mean, they're playing hard, they're playing efficient. Down inside of the Kubo, and Chris Middleton had not played in the second half. Another three to three, Lance Thomas and Dante Hall. Block. Knocking that one back from Dante, from Dante DiVincenzo. There's been attempted in this game. It's coming off of a 61 three point field goal attempt game from the Houston Rockets the other night. 48 by Brooklyn, 43. 100 to 95. The Bucks will have to work against Lawler's Law today. Brooklyn scoring 100 first. High percentage of times the team that scores 100 first. Contact, no whistle. Frank Mason, quick. He can set up an offense and does. In the area. Got to finish that, DJ. Wait too well not to finish that one. Ball loose. Jonathan has a pass ahead. Beautifully done. Wilson again on a flush. A miss three. Tyler Johnson. Jonathan has it again. Frank Mason gets through the defense mm. to score. Game. Highlight of this game so far for me is seeing Liam, Liam, Liam as a virtual fan in the Bucks section. Sailing, clear sailing all the way to the basket. Jeremiah Martin on the miss. DJ Wilson able to pull in the rebound. See now these, these young players from the Nets are starting to go a little bit too much one on one. And the Bucks keep moving the basketball. And good things happen. There it is. Garrett Temple ties the game with a three. 19 of 53 now from behind the arc for Brooklyn. Totally different circumstance, but we, you know, I thought the Bucks were about to pull away from Houston when they go up eight against the Rockets, 112, 104. Man, we've seen some great games this year in this game with uh, the primarily bench unit on the floor for the Bucks now. Wow. See, that's 16 minutes, but Lopez didn't play, but so just kind of finding his rhythm. So you need to factor all that into it. It's not like I'm trying to you know, move up to the seventh seed so I can avoid somebody. The Wawa camp. Tyler Johnson sealed. A little bit of contact. A three missed by Garrett Temple. Now under two minutes. To help her son, Lydia Soldra, to prevent the layup by Tyler Johnson. Carver. That's the guy you want. Conant found him. Turut sets the screen, rolls. Giosa keeps. That's the push you want. Giosa. Wow. Rebound and put back Tyler. A little bit crisper to get open for him when he gets stuck in the air like that. Nice backdoor pick. Good play back, Connaughton. Great pick, Connaughton. DiVincenzo lays it in. 117. Steps. We got about that gather step. Another defensive possession. Need a stop here. Anto says, hey, get away. Don't switch. Let me have you. Shot clock at six. Garrett Temple.